All right, welcome to another Joy of Pepper with your host, Ronnie. We are looking at another Ave's Spice Company uh, offering today. Um, if you missed the previous video, I talk about the company itself, and then I also um, I discuss one of their sauces, which um, this is the first one I've ever tasted, but if the other ones are anything like it, um, it is just such a wonderful thing. This is the Kingfisher. Um, you can see some settling there. I discussed that in the video. It's because they don't use any xanthan gum or any other uh, way to emulsify the, the sauce, so settling is natural, it occurs. And it's fixed. It's that easy. Alright, so today we're not going to do the Kingfisher, but go look at that video. Uh, like it, comment on it, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, this is the start of a new thing, but it's something I'm going to do a lot of. Today we're here to talk about the Vulture. There it is. Fermented chili pepper hot sauce. Beautiful, beautiful bottle, beautiful graphics this uh, five ounce bottle is known as the woozy bottle it's uh, kind of become the standard for hot sauces it's just the perfect amount it's the perfect size perfect shape it's uh, becoming iconic and it's just it's a good good choice for a bottle pours easy stuff doesn't get stuck in the neck you know all that so uh, I want to go to the browser again and actually read some of the copy they have here get out of here uh, I believe it's here yeah here it is the bird behind the label our flagship sauce it's their flagship sauce the vulture is our most popular and versatile hot sauce we wanted to make something unique delicious and spicy that could be used on all your leftovers hence we wanted to feature a true scavenger on this sauce a vulture of course for the vulture hot sauce we took inspiration from the red-headed vulture um, let me look at this screen, I'm sorry. I'm looking in the wrong direction. From the red-headed vulture, Sarcagips calvus, also known as the Asian king vulture, the Pondicherry vulture, which is found throughout India, Northeast, and Southeast Asia. Like all other vultures, the red-headed vulture mostly eats the carcasses of dead animals, carrion. Due to their extremely corrosive gastric acids, Vultures can easily digest um, rotting carcasses infested with many potentially dangerous bacteria. Some vultures, like uh, the Lammergeier or Lammergeier, can even eat bones. Some people find the scavenging behavior of vultures kind of gross, but vultures are amazing. As consumers of dead animals, vultures prevent the spreading of disease like anthrax and rabies, thus fulfill a vital function in nature. Vultures keep ecosystems healthy, eat a bunch of nasty stuff, facing conservation threats, didn't know that, such as poaching and accidental poisoning by medical drugs used to treat livestock, but are toxic to vultures, but with every bottle of hot sauce you purchase from Ave Spice, we donate a portion of our profits to bird conservation work, so buy some hot sauce and save some birds. It's a very good, very good worthwhile cause. Here's a picture of some cute dogs with the vulture hot sauce. That's always nice. Vulture at a, some kind of fall festival. They're in their local um, city. So let's go ahead and get get back over to the uh, the main window here. All right. So as you can see, the bottle's not been cracked open. I'm going to do this live. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna crack it open now. Just the slightest little off-gassing when I open it. Being a fermented sauce, that doesn't surprise me. Um, just the slightest bit of gas in there. 
man. Wow. All right, all right. Let me let me focus here. I'm just drawn in already. Mm. Wow. All right. So I'm gonna read the ingredients here. See so uh, before I give my kind of sense about it. Ingredients: chili peppers, carrots, water, peaches, onions, honey, salt, garlic, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, lime juice, spices. All right. Let me go here. Go back to the browser here. Traditional chili pepper sauce, carrot peach base accented by fresh herbs including oregano, peppers featured in the sauce, chili de arbol, jalapeno, serrano, butjalokia, and green Carolina Reaper. Heat rating two and a half out of five. So this is the same heat rating that they gave to the Kingfisher. And I'll say the same thing I said in that video. Uh, you might say, well, what is it with these ratings? They're arbitrary. What, what's a two and a half? I mean, you know, maybe your two and a half is a one for me or a five for me. Well, um, it's easy to, to make that claim until you realize that um, their standard is likely the average tolerance of the average hot sauce consumer. It's not explicitly stated, but you can imply it. So let's say, for instance, they were to test these people at Aves. They uh, tested a um, Sriracha or a Cholula or Frank's Red Hot. Those are all uh, more or less even. All right, so um, I would imagine that they would give those a rating of 1.25 to 1.5 across those three different ones I mentioned. So uh, let that be kind of your your rating standard, okay? These are hotter than the ones at the store, but they're not going to scorch you to death. And uh, the reason I say that is because they put a lot of um, ingredients in these sauces that I don't want to say they pad the heat because that makes it seem like it, it kind of uh, gets lost in all the flavor, but uh, it certainly uh, goes hand in hand with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this thing and the, the chili pepper comes through and the carrot, those fresh herbs really, they shine through. I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way, but when I smell this, I think pizza. Doesn't smell like, you know, pizza sauce, but all of these wonderful sauces, it smells just just very re reminiscent of the Italian uh, foods. Of course, you've got oregano in there. You've got the um, carrot, which often goes in pasta sauces if they're too acidic. Uh, carrot is a good way to um, kind of mitigate some of the acid. So perhaps that's part of their reasoning for it. But um, you can tell they did a lot of work to get this thing balanced. And um, I'm just really, really excited to go ahead and try it. So let me go back to that, that main screen here. All right. So here it is. First tasting. Get it nice and close for the spoon, the pour. Watch as it comes out. You can see how viscous it is. All right. So fairly fluid, fairly thin, I mean, very fluid, fairly thin. All right. How it moves on the spoon. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. it smells amazing. I mean, it makes sense. It just makes sense. Is a flagship sauce. This is what they want to be known by. This is their standard, and it, it just works. See, the, the spice comes through very uh, quickly. It's clean, it's bright, so bright, and it just it fills your mouth. It just fills your mouth, and it does such a good job at what it's trying to accomplish. You get the carrot, you get the fresh herbs. I mean, there's garlic, I mean... There's good stuff in here. 
Um, what else could I say about it? I mean, they want this to be kind of a general purpose sauce, and uh, it really works as one. It really does work as one. Now, let me, uh, I'll say this. This is pivoting a little bit, but bear with me. Uh, I bought this sauce when I saw it on Instagram. They advertised on Instagram. I saw it. I liked it. I said, it's been a while since I bought a bottle of something unfamiliar. Uh, so I'm going to go and take a risk. And, um, and it was a good risk to take. Not a risk anymore, mind you. Um, so I got to talking to them. Uh, just kind of inspired by what they're doing. I tend to do that. I, uh, I let people know if I appreciate something. Something art, something uh, food craft, anything. Um, you know, a word, any, anything whatsoever. Uh, so they, they were appreciative. So they sent me this for free. I didn't expect it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't say, hey, yo, I'm an influencer, which I'm not. Hey, I got 30 YouTube subscribers. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and throw me some swag. Uh, nothing like that. They just sent it to me. So um, I appreciate that. I would have given them good reviews anyway. I I do that. But um, this is what they want to be known by. Okay. And as a flagship sauce, they couldn't do better than this. Why? It's distinct. This doesn't taste like any other sauce out there. It's not just distinct. It's sensible. These people stay away from gimmicks like it's the plague. Okay? Of course, a vulture might, might have liked being in a plague. Alright, so they avoid the gimmicks. They avoid that like the plague. Yet, they still manage to bring something new to the table. Uh, this is art. This is food craft. This is pepper appreciation this is the whole gamut this is the real deal so if you're looking for a new kind of a daily driver you want to switch things up you like your cayenne sauce but you want to try something new you'll like this if you're someone who eats Frank's Red Hot all the time or you like Cholula uh, you're gonna love this you're gonna love this Okay. Chile de Arbol. I believe that Cholula is Chile de Arbol and Pekin peppers, if I'm not mistaken. So you're gonna get you're gonna get some of the same uh, pepper notes in this. So uh, that's all I got to say about this particular bottle. Already a long video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you buy a bottle or two. It won't benefit me. It's not sponsored, but um, go ahead and get them. You'll enjoy them. God bless. Bye.